wind and gale. Air is forever on the move, sinking, rising and flowing from areas of high pressure to low pressure. We normally feel these movements as winds or breezes. But sometimes the wind grows fast enough to be classified as a gale. The worst gales happen at sea, but sometimes violent gales unleash their destructive power over land. Between Christmas and New Year in 1999, gales raged across France, uprooting trees and scattering them like match sticks, thousands of trees landing the streets of Paris were mowed down and strewn across the roads. Roofs were torn off buildings, traffic lights were twisted out of shape and broken glass was scattered everywhere. More than 120 people in France and Belgium lost their lives. Tropical storms In the tropics, the sun's heat fuels turbulent air systems that can produce extremely violent winds. Warm, humid air rising from the sea creates towering storm clouds that are much bigger than those of temperate countries. The resulting storms bring ferocious winds that bend trees and send huge waves crashing on the shore. Within minutes, a balmy tropical beach can turn into chaos, drenched with torrential rain and battered by raging winds. Worse things happened at sea. At sea, where there are no trees or hills to slow the wind, gales can whip up waves big enough to toss boats around like cocks and capsize them. In 1805, the British sailor Francis Beaufort devised a scale to measure the wind's force at sea by its effect on waves, and his scale is still used today in shipping forecasts. At force zero, the sea is like a mirror. A force eight gale produces rolling waves and blows white foam from their crests into streaks. And a force 12 gale, a hurricane, turns the surging sea completely white with foam and spray. Driven by stormy winds, giant waves piled like lighthouse in northwest France. Lop sided tree in exposed areas where the wind blows mainly from one direction. Trees often look as though they have been bent 
to one side by the wind. This happens because the wind dries the buds, shoots, and leaves on the side facing into the wind. They died, but the other side of the tree is protected and goes on growing. Palm trees are adapted to survive violent winds. Sand blasted sculptures. The tremendous force of the wind is nowhere clearer than in deserts where wind driven sand eats away at everything, even solid rock, which it carves into fantastic sculptures. Because sand erosion mostly takes place at ground level, towers of rock are carved into teetering pedestals perched on narrow stalks, where rocks lie in horizontal layers. Hard layers will protect the softer layers underneath. This can lead to the formation of a table mountain or mesa, a spectacular flat topped mountain eroded only at the side. Wind driven sand will eventually cut through this stalk and topple this rock, the rock above.